When we came into this industry some years ago, the city of Vancouver has always been a priority. 2021 is the year. After almost a year of planning, we're finally ready to introduce Afghan Kitchen Group in Vancouver, Zarak. Winnie and I put together a dream team to help us realize this dream. We have Simsich and Orich with Marco and Angela for the design and Merola Construction for the build. We were approached by Hasib and Winnie to uh, design a new restaurant. And we were really actually quite inspired by and enamored of the passion that they, they came to us with around um, the rich tradition um, and history of Afghanistan. Um, and I think one of the things that really made a strong impression on us was this um, idea of hope that was this kind of overarching um, idea and narrative around the culture and the history of the culture. I've had the uh, benefit and pleasure of working with uh, Hasib and Winnie and the Afghan kitchen team over, I guess, the last five years. Um, and I have had uh, the ability to see both of our businesses and our relationships grow through that time. And I think that gave me and, and the Merola Construction team a lot of excitement and, and energy for the new concept. Part of our research was looking at uh, traditional Afghan uh, vernacular architecture. Part of it being um, the plaster finishes that they have on their mud houses that have this really nice rich pink hue that you don't often see um, in many other places. And as well as looking at their use of bricks and how um, their buildings are constructed, which is quite a different use of the material than we are used to um, here in Vancouver. Some of the imagery that we really were taken by when doing research on Afghan culture was these photographs of kids flying their kites in Afghanistan. And uh, we really wanted to make references to those photographs. And it's not necessarily of having one large kite in the space, but just seeing them kind of scattered throughout um, the sky, we thought was quite compelling. So just adding those fragments into the space where they can be little reference points like these kites, translating that into the restaurant to create that same sort of fragmentation that would engage conversation between the patrons and the staff about Afghan culture. Part of the way that we approached this was um, bringing in Farsi lettering into the space uh, through the use of lighting in the mirror by having all the Afghan provinces listed along this very long mirror that we have in the booth seating area. Um, so that is just one of the reference points that uh, we have in the space. The Zarak space brings um, some really interesting design components and some of the challenges that will come along with it is making sure we bring uh, an honesty and integrity to the design concept and making sure that we um, as the creators of the space and as the fabricators of it are able to embody the um, authenticity of the design itself and of the culture and do it in a shell space in Vancouver. We're looking forward to it and, and we're excited to see the end result. Zarak will transform what Afghan food and drinks means to me. Zarak is evolved, innovative, special, subtle, inclusive, and global. It is everything about Afghan culture that we will translate into this brand new space.